When I shoot stuff like a soda can, there's always a lot of questions that's uh, popping up. How should I do this? And uh, I will take you along on the journey of shooting. And today we will also create a graphic illustration made in mid journey. First, let's shoot this can. Black frame, that's good. So let's start by turning this flash on. Modeling light on, yes. Shoot, looks nice. And then we just turn on the other one. Now you will not see the can, but it's inside here and I'm shooting very, very close because why not? So let's take another one. Very simple light, one light from the left and one from the right. And uh, we know that we will cut this out, the can. So it's probably best to add a bit of a brighter background. So I just take a white card and place it behind the can. Take another shot. We can see that we have sharpness. It goes all the way to this point. Here it's starting to fall off and it becomes blurry and blurrier. Then the edge of the can is blurry. If I'm lazy, if there's a low budget, then I just uh, cut it out and make a straight line. But it is kind of wrong because if it's a sharp edge, the sharpness should not fall off to the edge. So, so really need to focus stack this can, take a few images when we are switching the focus. This is the first question I'm asking myself. Should I care? <laughs> so I will do the focus stacking now. I will take like five images maybe. So first I do like this so I know I will start the focus stacking. First, I think we should add a bit more of uh, water on the can. I use glycerol, glycerin. I take like half of this and half water and then I put it inside one of these. And when I sprayed it before, you see, it will stay. That's a good thing about using uh, glycerol because it will stay forever. Water will start to... If you want to have that look, then it's fine with water. I sprayed this maybe for like 30, 40 minutes ago and it will stay perfect. And also there is a bit of a shine to this glycerol slash water mix. Not too much, not too much kind of sticky. I need to wash my hands. Okay, let's take another one. And you can look at this one while I'm washing my hands. So, what did we get? Yes, nice droplets. One other great thing with the glycerol thing is that when you're focus stacking, the droplets need to stay so it will not move. So, that's also one good thing with the glycerol. So, let's take a few more. like that. This is the first one. You see how blurry this edge is. And then I moved it so it's sharper here. And now we're getting closer to the edge. And then the final at the edge. So these six photos, we put them together. The whole can will be super sharp. So now let's cut can out and create graphic art background. We will load files into stack, yes? Browse, Noco, Blood Orange, pick the files, open, attempt to automatically align source images. Yes. Okay. So there we are. And then we take all the layers and then we go somewhere. Where do we go? Auto blend layers. Let's see if it's possible or not. So there we are. There we have everything in focus. Now we just need to cut this out. Let's put them in a, in a group and then we'll try to remove background. Okay, there we are. It's not perfect, but it's kind of okay. Okay, now we have the can cut out. Now we will go into Discord where I control mid-journey. If we search online, Noco advertising. You can look at images. You see here, they have this kind of style on the advertising, uh, this graphic art. 
and also here. So let's try to do this. I found this online and I will upload this image so we can have mid journey to describe this image. So then we do slash describe and then I just drag this image into mid journey and I hit enter. So here we have four options. Now which one should we go for? Maybe we should go for all. Uh, imagine this one, the ocean in the red background. Well, we don't need red really, because we look at this one, we need like blue and orange. We can change this, pr this prompt. Background with mountains instead of neo, geo, minimalism. Do, 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 yeah. So let's, uh, let's try this one. I just change the colors and see what we will get. We can do the same for this one. Uh, orange and blue sunset. And let's go for, for this one too. Take the third one. The something print style of blue and orange. Submit. And let's go for the fourth one one description of this image image of the ocean and sunset over a mountain in style of let's go for orange blue instead and see what happens so now mid journey will try to generate new images so here we have the first one looking kind of cool and here we have another one also cool and here's another so which one should we go for? I made my one earlier that looked like this that I really like. And let's say we take this one, number two, upscale number two, and then upscale four times. So we will have a bigger version. So here we are, here we have the upscale version of our background. Let's drag it to desktop. Let's open it up and then I drag it onto the background. And let's see if it will fit. And um, what about the colors? Yes, kind of, kind of the same. You can always, of course, change the colors of your background so it will match better. We can go to hue saturation and we want to change the background, not the can. This looks nicer. And then I can go to the cyan. I want it to be closer to the blue. Can we be closer to the blue? Something like this. You get the idea. Blues. You can also go into color balance. Something like that, maybe. Well, that's nice. So you can tweak it so you will get the same look, you know. Okay, there we are. I hope this was inspiring. Hope this was something you can use. And if you have any questions, please please, please leave them below. And um, soon we hit 70,000 subscribers on this channel. That's insane. Thanks a lot, everyone, supporting this channel by subscribing, liking, and joining all the coffee supporters. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for the support. Without you, there's no channel. That's how it is. So. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, if I don't see you before then. Um, and uh, yeah, remember, as always, I'll see you next.